back to my channel day number two vlog vlog mass vlog mass vlog mass all right so today i'm going to shop so for you now but i have some things to do at home first i have to go and take my son's um report we kind of look after his school and then we're heading to shop so for you we're going to that whole plaza and I'll see what i can capture all right so stay tuned Today we are be, we are gonna be cooking some um edo soup things that we call it it's an African dish and we're gonna be using fish so I am here and I'm seasoning up the fish um I'm not, I have not wow. co um coated it because some people do like flour their fish so I had to fry it just like this this is how it came out and then we put it in the soup for it to cook again you know, for too long right. I had to do this project for, for my son and this is it. I'm heading down there now to deliver this to the teacher. Um, it was really, really fun doing this project. And that's all. Okay, so I'm on my way to Shops of Arima. And um, as I said before, I'm going to take my son's report book um, to, the, to the school. And then we're going to to some stores down there so i am so late because it was supposed to be between nine to one o'clock to drop off the report box but i just got caught up in some things at home and now i'm hustling to go down there but i'm not living too far from the school so it may take me around 15 minutes to get there yeah so um i'm just hoping that i catch a teacher as i enable just like yesterday, the sun blazing hot and um, I'm still just in black but this is a lighter material so I'm not feeling it that much yeah 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 I mean I love the sun and the whole of that but sometimes I just can't take the heat so see you in a few minutes I'm here waiting in this in this um, taxi and I'm um, heading to the shop of Arima and I'm um, just praying that there is no traffic because I will scream there's most of the time there is some heavy traffic on that side and I just hope that this is not the case because if this is the case I'm going to be extremely extremely late <laughs> because they had lots of traffic and um, the teacher didn't wait on me I felt real bad I felt like a delinquent mom but as I said I mean I had so much things to do today and I got caught up and I just should have left home earlier right so we are heading now to, um, to shops of Arima guys this is one of my favorite restaurants my favorite chinese restaurants Hakka oh my god i love their food the food is delicioso um this is Massey stores and randy's used to be here and these supermarkets used to be here but they
we're going into shop so far. We're going into um kids huh? paradise. They sell kids, toys, clothes, and all these nice stuff. Alright, so we're heading there now. Alright, so here we are in Kids Paradise. They have lots of toys. They have a variety of toys. I used to come in the shop for my kids when I used to work close by. It's like I couldn't take the, um, the toys home the same time. I used to prefer to wait until Christmas Eve. So what I used to do is to come down here in my lunch hour, shop around and buy stuff, buy gift paper, everything, and then go to work in my office, drop the toys, drop whatever I bought, and just wait until Christmas Eve to take the toys home, to take the gifts home. Right now we have bicycle, tricycles, you name it, every bit of toys, they have it here. Expensive toys, toys that could fit everybody's budget. So if you're looking to shop, come down at Shop Safarima at Kids Paradise. Kids Paradise is the place to be. They have toys for babies. They have toys for babies, toddlers, everybody, everybody. Come down at, sh at, at Shop Safarima, Kids Paradise. Now they're not paying me for this, right? I just I just turn it over. I just refer it over because they're a good store to shop at. And they have all these things. Christmas is coming up. You want to buy for your nephew, your niece, your children, whoever it is, a friend, they have a gift exchange. And these cards, I always want to buy a card just like this for my, my, my children, but I never had the opportunity to have the art space. So I just didn't. It just didn't make sense. It just didn't make sense. So I did not invest in that. But it's pretty expensive, you know. So, you know, it's something to look at. Right? They have tools for men, for women. I'm not going to stereotype, okay? Women could use tools too. Here we have other things, right? Guys, it's just everything that you need. I don't think they don't have anything that you won't need. Or if you're looking for something you can't find it, come down here. It is not crowded. Lots of space. If you're looking for somewhere that is not crowded, especially during a time like this, you don't want to be in a place where you have too much people. This is the place to be, guys.
going into another store we're going into the mall itself now and um i'm going to see if i could find some other stuff for you i know that um i don't have much stores but i can see what i can find i'll see what i can find i mean answer no lie yeah because a long time i ain't come down here long time i tell you long long time because i don't really have reason to, to come down here by the way but let's just stroll in a bit this is a real nice mall but it now started that was back in 20 when i moved to arima was like around 2015 around there or 2014 and this mall had nothing in it it was just no it was like no starting it used to be empty and i always wanted to like um to open up a like a bookstore in this um area and somebody tell me oh um, don't get too slow you have much people but look at the mall now well established have so many different um traffic coming in here now you understand so sometimes when they want to open a business don't tell nobody right so we're going into the store we're going into the store this is our next um um store here and they actually have my idea first it was a stationary store and now they're selling toys they even sell in primary oh, primary school books so it, it also has a bookstore um incorporated in, in it and when i saw this i was like oh my god this was the idea that i had because when i called the manager for the for the building she said yes that's a good idea but when they tell other people now it's like no nah, that ain't good that ain't good and look what she looked at the store they have they have, they sell they sell um school books and all of that you know you know school books are seasonal things so they have to mix it up with you know these nice looking thing and this is called um shop and stock here in the shops of arima um i usually I, I used to come here to buy my kids stationery um right they have good good they have good books as well they have good toys right but not as big as the other one right not as big as the other one but they do have some good good toys here they have for every age and um yeah it's a good place to shop if you if you're coming down on the side it's a real good place to shop all right guys so enjoy <laughs> to decorate here yeah, look at this look at our section over here just for that we decorated a christmas tree decorate a christmas tree just decorate yeah but come here you get a few stuff here and have your lights your christmas lights if you're into the decorating thing i for one not into it but yeah they have some good stuff here man they have some nice stuff in the back here can't miss it so much they have more toys in the back here too you understand so there's nothing to sail this is from the outside view i came with this store because it was a big crowd so i didn't want to stay inside it too all right so we're going somewhere else now because it was too crammed they don't have enough space but they have some really nice stuff as well and they also do gift wrapping so if you are not too good at wrapping your gifts and you can afford it I think the guy told me it's like $5 for it so you can you know wrap your gifts you know just buy your toys buy your gifts wrap it and have them wrap it for you pay a little service fee and all good to go so we're going into another store as I said, it doesn't have much stores in here, but I'll take you to one more. I think it's an uh, excellent store. A few years still open. If that's it, they're still open. I'm not sure if they closed down. I know they were supposed to close down. So I'm going to see if they're still operating. I'm not sure. So we're not here. And a 
from places here I didn't know about. It's so long I come down here, boy. See at all, yeah? You're gone. I'm late, boy. I'm late. They actually closed down. I see another store there. They have um, something called Jack's International. I don't know see it. Oh, there you see Jack's International. So I can't go in there. Are you real late, boy? I forget all about um, homeland furnishings, fabric land. So we're going in there now and then it's all like furnishings and house, household items. So yeah, I think about curtains in here once upon a time. I used to buy curtains in here they have really good quality curtains um but you know the price is kind of you know steep but you have to pay for quality right look at this nice doggy oh, <laughs> oh gosh yeah so they have 20 percent off from most of their items um so you need to come down to this store if you were looking for quality stuff and if it could fit your budget if it cannot then it doesn't make no sense to come down here right but yeah, look at me now, taking a nice, yeah, hi. So guys, if you're into this, you know, decorating your house, the bees and all these kind of things, um, I remember these are the kind of things that I had to go through when I was younger, oh god, mommy used to always want us to wash up these things for Christmas. So why are you buying them for them to, to, to give me work to do? Like seriously? Anyway, I used to enjoy it, right? If I like, put things on your wall, these are some nice paintings, you know? Look at nice, look at nice, look at nice. But as I tell them before, if you don't have money, it don't make no sense. And some lovely flowers for those of you who are into flowers and things. Household, kitchen, bathroom, living room, um, your veranda, outdoors, things like that. Right, so you need to come on down. It's a nice hammock. Oh god, I feel like I want to sit down on this thing, yes, and take a nice ride. But you know, I couldn't do the people them thing that next thing I break it to. Yeah, so that was a moon collection. Has some really nice quality items. And, um, See if I could get something. I'm going to have to get a taxi to go home because I have children who are than me. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit. When mm. you hear about Hot Hot Sun, I think it's Trinidad Sun. Trinidad Sun. Hot. That's really hot. When I tell you hot, Jesus. I just see you walking home and I just can't wait. Walk. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about. what I do for Christmas as I was saying yesterday that I didn't really do anything much right um, when I was a, when I was a little girl with my mom my dad 
they used to like like months as months before they used to like strip the house i mean take off all the cushion covers all the cushion covers take down the curtains everything everything was just bare i'm gonna tell you bare bare and that's happening around october-ish you understand october that's happening and i mean i used to enjoy it i used to look forward to it because it was part of our tradition well, let's listen to some spanish music yeah so it was something else we used to look forward to and it's like then on August now, we used to write our Christmas list. That was my favorite part to write the Christmas list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we used to write on the Christmas list. We're getting this, we're getting that, we're buying and stuff. So, and then close to the Christmas, you know, we started to shop. We started to shop. We started to buy all the nice things. You know, when you're children, we're looking forward for them things. But it's a cleaning part, boy. It's a cleaning part. When everybody has to do something, cleaning windows, washing on all the things. Them. Yeah, washing on all the wares. Wares that you never use for long. Wares in that cupboard. And then the scrub. Scrub down this, scrub down that. All them kind of things I was real work, you know. I tell my children if I had to give all the kind of Christmas I used to have, well I can't do it because I'm lazy. <laughs> so I um I don't I don't put myself through that anymore. And I think one of the things that really um, turned me off from Christmas is the fact that um it's just too much spending spending on things that you don't really need. Right? You just want for that one occasion. And see them times I want to I want to not spend so much. You understand? So that was just a little sneak peek of what I do, of what I used to do, and I'll continue to tell you more as time goes by. Alright, because now I'm out totally different and I sometimes I really feel bad for my children because they have never experience those kind of things and I really feel bad for them. Mommy, right. I right. So I really feel bad for them because they're they are excited of the, um, about Christmas because of what they might have seen on TV or what they might have heard in school or what they might have heard their friends tell them or other people or other children you know and they have nothing to tell really because i have never done anything spectacular i only buy toys i don't do the whole all those things that i used to do they never experience it but i think that one of these christmas i will do such i will do it for them i will go pick it up to them and i will do it for them but for now i have my money has to go <laughs> towards more important things you know yeah so but not this year though, not this year, not this year. So guys, I'm going to go now. I almost reach home and uh, I just can't wait to be home to get out of this sun. It's hot. Hotter than hot. Come on, doing right? I'm just glad I'm almost at home and I can, you know, get some rest. I find like everybody, like, because I'm, I'm doing this vlog, like everybody just ditching the camera. Like, if I'm not taking videos of them, I, I, I'm not taking videos of them, but anyway, I understand how they feel. They don't want to be in my video. They don't want to be in my video. So, I'm almost there. See you. 
So guys, I'm back home and um, for the fans. Snail. Ain't it no snail? It's only my son alone eating this nonsense. Yeah. Why? How quarreling! Yes, child I have. <laughs> Big 15 year old child lying down in bed this hour. Look at her, look at her. What? Lazy! Lazy girl! Manuela, what happened? I don't know. You been already? Yes. What are you doing? Um, I clean my room and start. Okay. You have nothing else to do? Yeah. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. I said, why are you on the ground? Why can't you leave the tablet to charge? Leave the tablet to charge. How much charge do you have? 66. But well, you don't need to be charging it like that. So I'm gonna eat and um, I'm gonna eat some some edo soup. I'm so hungry, I'm so thirsty. I'm still thirsty. The sun really beat me up for yes. And um I wanna show you what I'm gonna eat so yeah I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. It's called this what you call it again? Edo soup, yeah. Edo soup is that like the like like the normal um Caribbean soup with the with other provision is it consists of like um with edos you have to like mash the edos and then you put, put in some banga banga sauce and we're using fish he using snail and baji I will show you I will eat it with um fufu yeah so this tastes good well and yeah, this tastes good. So, hold on, hold on, and I'm gonna see how it's looking. So, guys, this is the result of the banga soup. Well, the edo soup, sorry. This is it, and this is what I'm gonna eat it with. This is called fufu or dough. Make it with cream of wheat. It tastes real good. So, guys, this is the time when I'm gonna lick down this food. Oh God, you see, put your hand just like how you eat doubles. Yeah, you eat African food with your hand. Best tool to eat with. You roll it up, and then you just dip it. You just dip it in the sauce, there. Yeah. You just dip it and you eat it. Oh my God, this tastes so good. I'm not exaggerating, guys. If you taste this, you will not regret it. I'm telling you, it tastes boss. It tastes boss. It tastes. It tastes. It tastes. It tastes good. Kinda hot though, kinda hot. The dough kinda hot because it's not meat, but I'm real hungry, so I can't wait until that's cool. Mmm, look how I look at my fingers. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. When I tell you it tastes good, it tastes good. Come on, I, I'm not, I'm not over exaggerated. I'm, I'm not telling you it tastes real good, it tastes real good. You get bite off your fingers when I eat this. And plus, it's so healthy because it's baji, edos, fish. You know, it's nothing unhealthy about it. So. Yeah, look how I look at my fingers now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We just actually fight for this food in this house now because you know, I already think I didn't have enough. I just thought, I just in my mind, I was like, this is not enough food, you know, but I, I still couldn't finish it. And this is the fish, this is the fish I used, um, this carrot or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. <sighs> If you want to see a video with me making this, just let me know down in the comments now. 
I don't mind doing it. Yeah. That's it for the day. Um, that's it for Vlogmas 2. I'll be bringing you more tomorrow. So, I'm gonna take a rest right now and uh, settle down and relax. Alright, guys, so I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Have a great one. Oh, well,